Hey everyone, today we are going to be taking a pretty deep dive into the Gen 3 Combat Trudon. Now the Combat Trudon is a knife that's been around for quite a while. It's pretty iconic, known as one of the biggest and baddest out the front knives you can find. Microtex really pioneered out the fronts over the years. It's hard to find anybody in the knife world who hasn't really heard of them. And if you're familiar with the Combat Trudon, this will look a bit familiar, but with some notable differences. So I actually want to bring in the previous Gen 2 of the Combat Trudon, just so that we can do a quick side-by-side -side while we run through everything. Now, most notably, you'll probably see here that it looks like you're getting a little bit more blade. You're getting right at about a fourth of an inch extra blade, and that's really awesome considering if you're looking at the handle, it's pretty much the exact same footprint. You don't have that big glass breaker anymore, and you can see that we are now working with Torx construction instead of their proprietary hardware. I think that's really cool. Up here, right there with the logos, you can see that instead of it being like painted on, you can see that it's now deep engraved. It's a little bit more subtle, but at the same time, it's not going anywhere, it can't be scratched off. I think it looks great. And then, of course, these millings here are quite a bit different. If you flip it over onto the spine, you can see that, again, it's pretty similar, but you'll notice that on the Gen 3, it appears to taper a little bit towards both of the ends. You can also see that while the slide switch stays the same size, the travel distance is a little bit further and also has those crud cutters built in which should help break down and expel any debris that would build up. And then on the back side, you can see that they have the new updated clip. We started to see this cool ball bearing clip in the Microtech Hera. It was pretty popular being titanium and you get that snappy roller ball clip. Gives really good retention in the pocket. And I think aesthetically, it's just a massive upgrade. And really quickly, while we're talking about the Hera, I know a lot of people always ask what the difference is between the new Hera 2 and the Combat Trudon. And here you can see they are pretty similar. You're getting a different footprint on the handle. It's actually pretty similar in size. And then you'll see that the blades are pretty similar too. You're getting Microtex proprietary M390 MK blade steel. They've been using that for a bit now and that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It gives you excellent edge retention and great corrosion resistance, making it a perfect EDC blade steel. The only notable thing is you're actually getting just a tad less cutting edge on the Combat Trudon. Due to this angle here, you can see that the top edge is actually a little bit shorter than the main cutting edge. Other than that, these are very similar, running on Microtech's new dual fuel drivetrain. So crazy snappy, super easy to use. Like a lot of people would struggle to open and close a Combat Trudon before, especially if you're using your non-dominant hand. And I cannot express how easy this is. Like I can do that with an index finger. That should show you how easy this has become. I think that's a massive upgrade, considering on the last Combat Trudon, oh yeah, that, that's still hard for me to do left-handed. I'm not a lefty. With the right, not nearly as bad. Um, but yeah, there, there'd, be, there'd be no way for me to deploy that with an index. So I think that switching over to the dual fuel with the two springs along the drivetrain instead of just the one down the center was a massive upgrade. Overall, you're just looking at constant improvements across the board. I can't think of anything that I really miss too much from the last version. These milling lines are iconic, but I think the look and the feel of the new Gen 3 is just perfect. I, I think it feels incredible, feels great in the hand. And if you haven't felt one, I can't urge you enough to go out there, find somewhere that you can actually put hands on one of these. And really quickly, I also wanted to go ahead and show it next to the normal Trudon, because I know there's still a lot of people that want to see size comparisons with this, as well as against, of course, the Microtech Ultratech. This is, you know, their most iconic design. So just giving you a little side by side there. And one last cool thing of note that I wanted to do was go ahead and bring in a scale here to show you that it also comes in quite a bit lighter. 
So this version here is under five ounces. When if I bring in the previous gen, we're at about 5.3. So we're shaving off quite a bit of weight. We're getting right at about an extra fourth of an inch to the blade there and a smaller footprint in the pocket. Again, I cannot express enough how it just feels like a complete improvement across the board. Microtech has been absolutely killing it within the last year or so. All of their models having incredible improvements, new gens, different opening mechanisms. I just love to see it. And then really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and lay some of these out here to show you that while this version is still pretty new, they are already coming in a few different versions. You can see partially serrated, double-edged, already have some single-edged options out there, different colorways and coatings. So there's never been a better time, in my opinion, to get a combat trude on, whether or not you've been a longtime fan of the model, or if you're just now discovering it. And again, while this is a very large knife, it's not too heavy for what it is, and it is so smooth in deployment, I think it makes a perfect EDC if that's what you're looking for. Now, if you like what you've seen today and you would like to see more, go ahead and follow the links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay sharp.